Right, as everybody, including myself, can now see, because I've had my head down and been paddling steadily for 20 odd minutes, 25 minutes. We're now back very close to the beach. It is nine minutes to high tide, so uh, I'm going to have to go for a skillful landing further up the beach. I'm going to cruise close in if the swell doesn't shorten too much. It's rocking a little bit on it now. You can clearly see people on the promenade now having their, their walk. Make sure I, the dog in swimming over there. Seagull floating and he's off. Wave my paddle at him. There we go. And we're headed in. I think I would enjoy doing a little bit more close in paddling, but having set a new world record for myself in being all the way out there, there's my view now of the boy, which doesn't look too far, but that is quite a long way. So off we go again. spin round a bit because just here there is a current which wants to throw you onto the rocks. Not today but it's still there. It's just not all that strong today. It's almost as if you're paddling into a brick wall here because there's a eddy. We'll call the rocks eddy. There's an eddy current here which makes you feel like you're on a, some sort of ride at the fair. You're going up and down and trying to spin you around at the same time. But I have been out here before so I know what to expect. The thing is to turn here and go in a little bit further up where the lobster pot restaurant is. So this is a different view, as we get swept sideways. And I think I'll switch off and concentrate my paddling. 